Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Scrappy Saturday and we are going to work with scraps for the Circus Journal today. But I also have some things to share from Etsy first. But So let's say hi and hugs and get started. Hi and hugs to Danae, Beth, Karen and Pam. Thank you so much for watching and your, and your kind comments. Okay, I'm going to put the papers aside for just a moment <clears throat> while we take a look at these wonderful things. Okay, so first of all, oops, that's a, that's gold over there. <laughs> okay, so first of all, from Triple V Vintage, my pal Vernie over there, I had to go over and get some of her ledger sheets she has I on on her shop I don't know if they're still there but they're these big tall long ledger sheets aren't those awesome I'm thinking one could cut them kind of in half and you you know have two pages love those thank you so much Vernie for sharing those and then I couldn't couldn't stop without getting some of her old book page and then I couldn't stop without getting some of her lacy paper. I'm, I was getting a little bit low on that. So that's what is from Triple V Vintage. Set that aside. Oops. And then isn't that a cute tag that she made? I love that tag. I think that's so cute. So then um, this package came from STL Finds by Lori. I'll link both uh, STL Finds by Lori and Triple V Vintage below too. So this is her 20 ready to go pages for junk journals. And it has got awesome pages in it. It's got wallpaper. Oh my gosh. It's got old book page of all sorts. It's got, what is this? A little, some sort of certified. It's just, it's awesome. Let me just, let me just undo this for a minute. And, um, cause I want to look more closely myself. That. Um, yeah, old book pages of all sorts. Look at that one's German, I think. Little bit of music. Um, what is it? kind of parchment paper looking, a little bit of um, shorthand, numbers, ledger paper. I want to look at, that's coffee dye. This is onion skin. Yeah, this one, it's new certif it's certificates of some sort. This one's got a number. And then it's these beautiful um, wallpapers. And then this, whatever this is. <laughs> I don't know what kind of paper that is. So yeah, 20 ready to go pages for junk journals. Love it, Lori. Love, love, love it. Okay, and then she sent me a bug page. So definitely we'll use that next bug journal that I make. Thank you, Lori, for that. Um, and then this is, let me just tell you, is Spring Easter Embellishment Bundle. So, by Lori. STL Finds by Lori. Let's see, let's see what's in the Easter pack. Oof. There we go. Oh my goodness, all kinds of lovely things here. Let me just move that out of our way. And um, there's trim I can see, first thing. Trim and a little envelope, little pocket. Oh my gosh, this is $15? It's so awesome. Look at all this ephemera that she's, she made that out of a, um, out of a wallpaper piece. I love that. So cool. 
look at all these pockets. My goodness, girl. Oh, and look at this belly band. Oh my gosh, this is fabric flip. This is everything you need for spring and for Easter. So amazing. And these must be pages, it looks like. If I can get the, there we go, got the clip off. Pockets on this one. This one's got a little piece of quilt. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing kit. Spring Easter embellishment bundle, $15. I cannot believe all that she has in here. And then there's all these beautiful doilies. There's napkins in here and a page from, oh gosh, what are they called? You know, the vintage magazine. I can't, it's not coming to me right now, but oh my gosh, that is an incredible bundle, Lori. Thank you so much. Wow. Then there was this and I'm just really curious. I waited to open it until I was with you guys. Oh, 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 Lori, thank you so much. Oh, she's, she's a sweetheart. She's, she's reaching her goals for her Etsy shop. Thanks to you guys. So thank you so much for supporting the folks that I show on here. Gosh, first of all, this is amazing paper that she's wrapped this in. Oh my gosh. Lori. Oh my gosh. Ephemera book. You too can have one of these. Ephemera book. $97 on Etsy, which again, it's just such a, such a bargain. Over 180 pieces of ephemera and embellishment included in each book. Wow. So there's some pockets here where you can put some things. And more pockets here with beautiful Tim Holtz people and other people tickets, little cutouts, checks and such, tags. Oh, Lori, this is incredible. Look at the, <clears throat> the various labels, tickets, fun things, fun bases. And this is wallpaper that's made that pocket. <clears throat> Here's some wonderful uh, sort of receipts, things. I'm so sorry, all of a sudden I have a frog. <coughs> mm. Have a little drink of water out of my ink and think there. And so little, um, little bits here. Oh my gosh, look at this ephemera too. 180 pieces of ephemera. My goodness. This is just amazing. Look at the stamps. Wow. Oh gosh, Lori, thank you so much. You guys have got to get over to her shop. If she doesn't have one of these in the shop, maybe you could message her. Look at all the pieces of um, pieces of doily here. There's all sorts of little doily pieces. Can you see those through? Yeah. Oh, what a fun, fun book. And just filled to the brim with ephemera. Look at these cute little playing cards. How adorable are those? 
Oh my gosh, Lori. Oh, thank you so much. And look at, she's got a pocket here. This is a treasure. Oh good, she signed it. That's awesome. I'm gonna put this right in this pocket. I'm speechless. I seriously am. Oh, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. STL finds by Lori. Oh, my goodness. That is incredible. Well, some amazing items from STL finds by Lori. I will link her below. You better get over there because <laughs> I got a feeling when you guys see this, it's going to be whoosh, and she's going to be making some more ephemera books is what she's going to be doing. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Lori. That was super fun this, this scrappy Saturday. Okay. So, as well, my friend Joey Cardmaker will be linked below because that's who's digital we're going to use for this. I have it to the side. I haven't fussy cut it, fussy cut it yet. So um, it's over there for me to, to use if we need to. Well, what I thought we'd do is kind of go through these scraps and see if they tell me what they want to be. First of all, these are all scraps. These are scraps. Okay, and these, um, there's just a few of these left. So I thought maybe I could use those to decorate a little bit. Look at this funny thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, and that's a scrap. And then, oh goodness, there's more scraps in here. Hang on a sec. So these came from a Happy Mail. So I think maybe I would use one. I'm going to put the rest of them back in my circus box. Okay. But look at these fabulous, fabulous papers. These look like Graphic 45 to me, but some of the th these things are Cartabella paper. And it's just called Circus, I think. But, okay, here's some more little scraps. I thought there was some more. What is this? Oh, that's just a folded piece. Okay. Oh, yeah. Lots of scraps. Many scraps. <laughs> I wonder if they're kind of thinking that would be a page. That is longer than 11, isn't it? Yeah, that's 12. Okay. So, I don't know if I would use that that way necessarily. But whoever sent this paper to me was thinking I would. See, there's all the Okay, I'm having a moment. I think I might have to make two. Because <laughs> these would be cool. Like that. I don't know. I don't know. This was down here. I don't know that I wanted cover, would want to cover that up. Okay. Okay, this was a random paper. I remember I had that from when the um, craft place here closed. These are strips. Le Cirque Graphic 45. Some of those are Le Cirque Borders. Can you see that on the strip? Okay. 
And then these are the Cartabella. I just have one big piece of that left and then stickers. Okay, just had to kind of see where it was at here. Not sure what to do with these, but they're cool. Mm. Okay, and then I have book pages and stuff that could be used for decorating over here. Okay, let's let's just let's just start. That's the best way. So this would be fun on a on a page with uh, Brad through it, I think. Or on a piece of ephemera, which I think I prefer that. Maybe um, kind of a... Okay, it's coming to me. So we have our page. I have a few pages that I need to fill totally up with something. So let's see if these would be pretty good. Um, these are just... Not quite five wide, and I like to make the full page pockets five wide, but we're not going to on this one. I think I'll cut that. I think I'll cut that right here. Okay. These are telling me what they want to be. We'll see from there. good I think okay now we have another piece to make into something <laughs> okay so these are kind of sideways the wrong way so I'm going to use this side of these and I'm going to put a little thumb notch in this just very small just a little bit eyeball the middle kind of okay and then what I'm thinking is of putting this on there and having it be so it twirls okay do I want that one or do I want this one let's cut this one out I think I might want this one Okay, when you're cutting a circle, turn the paper. That's the trick. Instead of turning the scissors, you turn the paper. That's how that goes. Even still, I'm not being perfect, but you know, what in this world is perfect? Certainly not this kid. Okay. Yeah, I like that on there. Okay, I need some. Need some distressing. Oh yeah, this looks much better distressed. Oh, I'm excited. We're gonna have a piece of ephemera for our circus journal. doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Let's see, what do I have? Let's see. Uh, got these red ones. That would probably be good. 
Okay, I'm going to use my little pokey tool and poke a hole in this. And then, so where my thumb notch is, is, let's see, what I want it there, I was almost thinking I could cut out one of these and put them, put it above it. I will get all this stuff cut out so you don't have to watch me cut out tonight as I'm watching TV. That's going to be my mission is to get this whole kit fussy cut. Put that there. And this down here, I think. Why not? Says I, why not? Okay, so this is going to be just about right there. I'm probably going to cover the back of this brad on the back side of the pocket. I think I'll cover it with some washi tape because Otherwise, whatever we put in this pocket could, you know, snag on it. Okay. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> okay. Um, wash tape. doesn't really matter what kind because it's going to be inside the pocket but I just want it to be big enough that it covers that well let's put a little bit of glue on it too just make sure make sure it stays gosh Joey your kit I have to say has just energized me. I am just so excited to play with this. Okay, that should do it. That should keep that from grabbing whatever goes in and out. Okay, guess I might as well just glue this down while we're at it. And now we have a full page pocket. I wanted full page pockets for the back side of the um, of the uh, calendar. Okay, one piece of ephemera done, done, done. Let's get rid of these things that I don't need. Okay. Yay! Okay, so that'll go on a pa the page like this, and then something big will slide in back. Okay, now we need to make we need to make one more of those. Of uh, not necessarily that particular um not that particular style. We'll do something else, but these are smaller. No, that one's the same. Yeah, these are a bit not quite as wide, but I really like this one. So let's cut that at seven-ish. So let's see, there's six. That's about seven. Let's do something with it and some other scraps, maybe. 
That could be a fun journal card. Um, do we want to go with some little pockets? Look at this one. It's fun. Thinking pockets might be nice. Oh, here's another one. I think we might just do four pockets and use those scraps. Pencil, yes. I'll just use a pencil to mark the first one here. Okay. Ooh. Do I like that or do I like that? I think I. I'm actually thinking that's kind of fun. Okay. I'm going to use that to measure. Gosh. Teeny weeny bit off this one. Okay. Yep, I think I like that side. Okay, let's just put those on as pockets. I'm gonna move down a little bit to make sure there's enough room to put something in that one. Okay, best, best be distressing prior to gluing. Always a good idea. So I hope you're having a good weekend. Let's see, what will I be doing on Saturday? Oh, um, our granddaughter Marin has a track meet here in our town. So I think we're going to go to that. We're not positive. She hurt her legs, so I don't know you know, what she'll be participating in. And then also, we have to leave right after the track meet to go to Bozeman because Marin and Katie are playing in a volleyball tournament there. So, yeah, so we have to, <laughs> we have to be traveling a little bit. Let's put something on that. Um, yeah, we'll be traveling a little bit this weekend. So that'll be fun, though. Although it's supposed to be, like, super cold on Saturday. So Marin said, if you guys don't want to come, you don't have to come. I'm like, oh, sweetie. It's hard for your Nana Pa not to come. We know how fleeting this time is. Okay, I think that's where we'll go with this. Yeah, so um, so that's the plan this weekend. Goodness. Oh man, the glue goobers, guys. They are a challenge. I always think I'm going to um, 
get them off of here before I start a video, but I, um, I'm so busy trying to get my phone ready because, you know, I have had issues at times with my phone shutting off. Well, I have to delete any videos on there, close out of this, close out of that, just to make sure my phone works the whole time. So, anyway, all that to say, I never get it cleaned out ahead of time. That one I got a little short, but it's okay. That's pretty decently straight, not perfect, but decently straight. Yeah, little tickets and things will be fun to poke in here, I think. Okay, so then there is... There is that one. Okay, I think that will be good. And that can go on the other side and because of the pockets it doesn't have a, um, a thumb notch you know I think I'm gonna go ahead and oh but if I round the corners then I'll wait I'll wait until I put it in the book because reason being I don't know which way I want this to go yet Okay, there's another full page pocket for us. Okay, cool. There's those couple things. Now, let's look at these and see, see maybe what we can make here. I think this would be a great tag. It's like three and three quarters wide. It's a wide tag, but that's all right. So... I think let's cut the corners and then let's back it because we'll use it to make some writing space. Well, this start to finish is again going to be probably most, uh, not that one, most of the um, ephemera is going to be made, made as we go. very bad at this little thing, but that would be cute. Okay, so this is the side we're going to cover. And do I have... Just going to grab a full piece. Because I can't be bothered to dig through. So I'm just going to kind of make this more or less go down the middle, I think. Okay, where is... Oh, I put it back. Go figure. Now I have something for backing things if I want it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that about there. This can go here. Okay. Let's put that on there. I'm gonna use art glitter glue just so it doesn't bend as much. OK, 
Okay. Okay, there we go there. Now, I think I'll put one of these big, big things in it. Kind of, I want something more, but I don't know what. Um, just kind of thinking, almost thinking about maybe doing a, one of the Emmett Kellys from the calendar or something on that. I mean, it's a fun background, but let's see. I don't know if any of them are going to be the right size. one I'm not that excited about the background so maybe we'll use that yeah he could sit there I think I can get the fire in it too Okay, Emmett. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Sorry, I had that completely up to my face. I'm in a fussy cut. You might as well be able to see me do it, huh? Oh, that's the bumper to the truck. I was like, what is that? Yeah, he's going to be good there once we... that I think I might want a little book page behind him oh what did I do it fell down right here I was thinking I might as well use a book page from circus another scrap and there's another scrap another scrap <laughs> oh gosh more scraps more scraps there we go okay okay
Just making more scraps, aren't I? Okay, yeah, that's better. Yes. And then we'll put some sort of little label up there. I don't know. Don't know exactly what yet. Don't know what exactly is going to show, so I'll give it all a good, give it all a bit of a distress. Yeah, I think I'm going to go right there. So right under there. Again, I'm going to use art glitter glue just so I'm not bending the tag all over. I mean, sometimes I don't mind that and I can just um, just put it under my mat or something, but okay, and let's put you on there, Emmett. I'm getting hungry. It's past my lunch time. But I wanted to get this video done. Oh, I'm going to cut off part of that. That's got glue on it, I think. Yep, I'm going to just cut that off. What time is it? Oh, we've got about 20 minutes, I think. Okay, I'm saying that for you and for Mike. He just came down. He's been working on my computer. I'm having issues. <laughs> Um, now, what do we want to use as kind of a little banner across there? This, I don't know if this is going to fit, but we'll see. Since it's got the curve, it just may work. There's probably stuff in Joey's kit, too. I just haven't fussy cut it yet. So let's see. Tomorrow's mix. No. No. Tomorrow's Sunday. Good. Just thinking of what I can do on these journals for tomorrow without having anything fussy cut out. <laughs> Oh, we'll make the covers. That's what we'll do. Cover slash covers. I, I just don't know. Part of me is thinking of making two. But I kind of just want to do one, two. All right, so. Gosh, that is. That actually works pretty well okay cool well we've got a tag made just about that's exciting it's nice and sunny here it's supposed to be really warm but it turns on the weekend of course when mare has got her track meet I would love to be sitting out in the Sun watching her wouldn't that be great but no that's got snow coming. Okay. There we go. There's our little tag. Isn't that so fun? Love Emmett Kelly. Okay, we did that for Scrappy Saturday. Alrighty then. We've got this is fun, and this could just be a journal card, really, as it is, couldn't it? Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna nip the corners. Don't think I want a fancy corner because the film strips on here, it's just kind of 
kind of geometric shaped. This maybe go in one of those pages that we did. Look, you can write on the back and yet it's fun. Oh, I should figure out a topper for that tag, shouldn't I? Um, what I was wondering here is if I could put a tab on that. I mean, it could be taller, but Okay, hey, let's just do it and it'll go where it'll go in the journal. There's my whale tails. Let's see if I can find something kind of bright and happy for this. Most of my whale tails are a little more subdued. Oh, here's a black one. That would be good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to fold that and give it a bit of a distress. And I'll show you what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, you can just use easy peasy glue stick on this. there. Then I'm thinking I'll put a little eyelid in this. And right here. And I don't want to punch very badly because it's wet. Use a white eyelet. Okay. And then maybe like this one. I'm not sure that I, I think I kind of want a, a bulb pin rather than, but I might leave that, leave that little thread there. I think I have one in here, don't I? Oh, must have used it. That's all right. There's more where that came from. How do I want to go? This always confuses me. Okay. Try not to go through that. And go through here. Like that. There we go. That's just kind of fun. I don't, I guess I don't want this on there but let's save it might go on something else nicely there we go okay so that's just a little journal card that we jazzed up a little bit all right um let's see if we what we have in all of our gazillion trims to go on this. Ooh. Now 
Nope. The wrong colors. Not finding it, people. Maybe that. I think I'm gonna. I might tie it in a bowl. See how we can do. Sorry guys, I'm fumbly bumbly. It's just, it's just how it is these days. There we go. There we go, okay. All right, how are we doing time-wise? Oh, we got about 10 minutes is all. <sighs> Time flies when you're having fun. Look at this cool thing. That is such a cool strip. I think I might make that a sideways belly band for a page. That would be good. Okay, so where do I want to? Oh, I'm going to cut our happy little ladies apart. But, you know... Sometimes sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Sorry, little lady, you're getting separated from your trio here. So yeah, I think so. That will be that will be cute. Let's do this, but I'm thinking of also put in one of those fun trims on the bottom or something. Like, I mean, look at how fun these are. Look at this one. Hmm. Oh, how about this one? Come here, you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to want my fabric tack, aren't I? piece of something there. Okay, 
I'm going to put Fab Fabri-Tac on the end of these just to um, keep it from unraveling. Yes, okay. And now, what else do we want to do? Okay, I'm just going to leave that to dry a little bit. But that will go across the page like that. And perhaps have something like that behind it. All right. So we did that. Um, let's set you right there to dry. Okay, what are these? Oh my gosh, look at this one. Wouldn't that be a cute tuck down the side of a page? Yes. That's what that one's going to be. And what if we put some like red lace down it or something? I have Have some red lace that if we put that in the back and then put that on the side of a page would that be cute I wish you were here so I could hear your answer to that so what we're gonna do <laughs> I want to use this trim as part of it, you know. Get the fabric tack again. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got s s more scraps to go, which is great. I mean, because we can we can certainly make some things as we see what we need too. Okay, but let's pop this down along that edge. And then we have that. Okay, you guys, I think we're pretty close. Um, again, run over to Triple V Vintage and STL Finds by Lori. They'll be linked below along with Joey Cardmaker's Etsy and his Kofi. And, oh gosh, that is, it needs to slide down a little bit. And then I'll show you what we made today. So this is gonna go down the side of a page like that. I'll glue here, here, and here and tuck something in there. So that's one. We've got our sideways belly band. We've got our tag with Emmett looking very sad. We've got a journal card with a dangle. And we've got our two full page pockets, all using scraps from many years ago. <laughs> many, many years ago. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a grateful day, a great weekend, and be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!